So guys, look what you're making me do. Yeah, we're back here again. If you can't read that, it says Cupanos. We're back here again. I need to clarify a couple things apparently. So, it's not going to be in every video, all right? Not in every video, but in, you know, it's it's been like every video or if not every, most videos, I'm flashing for a brief second a code on the screen. It's a coupon code. It's good for 300 crystals and it's a first come first serve basis. So, if, you know, I don't know, you're watching the video like 10 minutes, even 10 minutes after it's posted, chances are the coupon code's not going to work. It's like you got to you got to be there immediately because there are other folks that are tuning in, you know, as soon as they get the notification, they're tuning in and they're grabbing the coupon code. So, that's what it is. It's a coupon code because there's some people out there who are asking, "What's this code all about?" It's a coupon code. It only works for one person. It's a first come, first serve thing, and it's not going to be in every single video. So if you don't see one in one video, it just means that I didn't put it in there because I only get so many a month. I only get 20 of these coupons a month, and I post more than 20 videos um, in a month. I've been posting like two a day, so you do the math, friend. All right, and we're here. We're here on the maker because there's something I want to show before we get into the video. The video's topic is, it's Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, and we're gonna be doing some pop lock and dropping and CTP swapping with our gal. And not only that, but we're gonna be comparing her next to Rogue. So it's gonna be, I have a regular judgment on her now. It's gonna be judgment to rage to forge judgment because I have a forge judgment on Rogue and we gotta make everything, you know, pretty much the same. So we can see, you know, I don't know, is she gonna be stronger than Rogue? Is she gonna be that much weaker? We're gonna find out today, friend. But first, but first, there was always the buff first, if you guys remember. Okay, so there's uh, people in the comments talking about the... Okay, there, there's a there's a increase damage by 50% for one attack on his fifth skill. Okay, and I played around with this a lot. Not a lot, I don't know, for, for like 5 to 10 minutes. I played around and I tried to get this proc to transfer to any skill. And I can't do it. It's just, it's just not possible, guys. So typically his rotation looks three, cancel into four. As soon as he pops down there and, you know, his arms stretch out, you go into five. Now, the next rotation is going to be three, four, five, tier three. And, you know, you, you think you, you'd actually want to transfer that proc, right? But check it out. Now, as soon as I have five, I, okay, that, that was kind of late in the tier three. So you would think like, okay, the tier three stuck, you just didn't get the proc. But it doesn't even matter. Watch. I'm just going to try going into any skill from his five. Look, that was an immediate cancel. I couldn't cancel that any faster. Do you see the do you see the icon for the proc? No, you don't. If you if you're not aware of what it, what it looks like, it's this one right here. It's got the little little sword on it. It's a yellow one with the sword. Three, two, and now it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. I'm, I don't know. Maybe into three. Maybe it cancels into. Th maybe you gotta do like five three tier three. Do you see the proc? No, it's not there. I mean, I'll try five three tier three and see if it carries over. But trust me when I tell you, it doesn't. That was immediately canceled. Couldn't I couldn't really cancel it any faster. And if you want to tell me that you can, then you got, you, I don't know, man, you got fingers of the flash. But to think that you're going to do that on a regular basis, I don't know. But yeah, we'll try that again. Oh, no, no, it didn't work. I tried to cancel before, it didn't work. But I'll try to go into the, into the two. And this will be the last time. Just I just want to make this clear for everybody that proc does not transfer to any other skill. It only works on the fifth skill. So you're only going to get... This buff here, the increased damage by 50% for one attack on his fit skill, on his regular rotation, right? So I guess it's it's good. I, you know, I wish it would ca carry over. Like devs, really, if you're listening, do you know wh why doesn't it carry over? Can you explain this? Why some procs do? Like, let's go to Iron Man. Let's go to Iron Man. He's got basically he's got the same thing, right? On his fit skill, he's got increased damage, 50% for one attack. His his transfers over. You got to do five, three, four, right? Like, we'll go in here, and I'll show you, his his actually transfers over. So, it doesn't transfer over if you just do, f like, five, like three, five, four. It doesn't transfer over that way. You got to do five, three, four. But you can see the sword, right? It's it's reinforced uni beam. Three, two, one, and now it's gone. That's the icon. It's not there anymore, but it transfers over. Why Maker's buff doesn't transfer over? I don't know. Please, can can somebody can somebody enlighten us? Can can somebody explain this? I don't know, guys. Somebody out there wants to write a, a, a ticket to support? That would be fantastic, and then share it with us in the comments. That would be excellent. All right, now moving on. Let's let's get down to business. 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the build here. Okay, so I went ahead and I improved her build a bit. She has 12 Odin's Blessings now. Um, yeah, all of her skills are maxed out. She's got a, a rank 4 type enhancement, and she has a fully awakened Ice Await set, Hawk's Eye. And she has a regular Judgment. At this point, her uniform is Mythic. If you're not aware of her uniform options, real quick, I'll show you. Lady Deadpool, Ghost Rider, Taskmaster, Dormammu, and Storm. The last two are kind of bugaboos. Alright, now we're going to go into... This is what we're going to do. We're going to go into Null, right? We're going to do Stage 25. Thing is, I'd go into Null and Mephisto, but I don't want this video running like crazy long. Um, so we're going to go into 25. I'm going to pop in here with the regular Judgment. I'm going to play a run with the regular Judgment. Then I'm going to swap that to Rage. Come back in here. Do another quick... It's all, all quick and dirty. And then, last but not least, Forge Judgment. Quick and dirty. And then we're going to bring Rogue in here. And I'm still debating on whether or not I want to use like... Where's the team? Um, I, no, no, not that team. We're gonna do, like, we're gonna do this and this, right? Because you can use, it, basically, you have female requirements in both Null and Mephisto, and typically what I do if I'm using Rogue, this is what I do. So I th I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Vonda's gonna take advantage of her own lead, but Rogue isn't. We'll see. If it's too close to tell, what I'll do is I'll, I'll switch that up and I'll do, like, Storm lead. But in any case, I, I think that's what we're gonna do, and this is the team up we're gonna use. For Null, we're going to do Quick and Dirty <clears throat> here once she has the Forge on. And then after that, um, right, I'm going to take Rogue in. And then we're going to go to Mephisto and do a Quick and Dirty with both Scarlet and Rogue. Because I think it's important to know, you know, just how much of a different is, difference, you know, you can expect from both. And the Forge Judgments are actually very, very similar. They're like almost the same CTP. All right, so let's let's rock and roll. Alrighty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, using Wanda lead, Raven, and Valkyrie for support with just two ignore dodge strikers. I'll tell you this much, that using full strikers, you're getting about 20 seconds. It's about 20 seconds faster, but... What? Where did that come from? I'm confused. I'm confused. We get a prod. There it is. Like to see it, right? We get trapped up, but we get that residual damage. I think we might be getting the better end of the bargain there. We can not get messed up by these blitz. Come on, man. You know I'm gonna actually cancel the three. Honestly, guys, there's not a lot of damage on the three. When I played around with it, like canceling the three and not canceling the, the three, you know, just like that, like an immediate cancel. Please don't be on the field. Of course, you're on the field. Both of you. You're the worst. And you're not actually... Oh my God. There we go. I feel like there, there's just not a whole lot of damage on the three. They're just... They're, there really isn't. Like, the bar just moves so slow. You know, most of her damage is on... Okay, we're actually going to hit her tier three here. We got the five going, we got the four, the two, the three, and okay. This is about where she's clocking in here, guys. Um, I tried a bunch of different like things with the rotation, and this is it. You know, it's about 335, 337. It's in this in that range. This is the run I'm gonna put in the video. So let's move on to swapping her judgment for rage. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Stage 25, same team, same strikers with the Rage now. With the Rage. And I know a lot of people wondering about ABX, Rage, and Judgment. We might have to revisit this. CTP swapping on that day. So we can purple here. I don't know. I, I, I feel like sitting in that fit skill might be beneficial. That would be nice. Okay, nice. We just wrapped up five here. That's a lot of damage. I kind of off proc a bit, but like right here, like I think you're you're. It's beneficial to cancel that three into the four there in that situation where like your procs up, like here. I'm actually going. I'm gonna do that thing. 
I'm gonna do that thing. Because, okay, please, no vehicles. Oh, lovely. And, use the tier 3 right about here. I really want that proc up before I go back into 5. There we go. We don't want to hit a wonker. I do not like them wonkers. Now here, like in the three, I think going into the tier three, you're doing yourself a favor. Okay, so clocking in at about the same time with uh, with the rage. Uh, okay, so I'll say this: that I ran a few times before this, and it was it was a little bit slower. It was a little bit slower, so. Um, you know, this was a better run, but I ran it a bunch of times with the judgment, and the run that I'm putting in is is the fastest. She was she was about 335, 337 um, with the judgment, and here you know it's three 333. So um, for World Boss Legend, it doesn't seem to be really much slower. You know, five seconds maybe. All right, now let's see what the difference on a four judgment and if she can if she can keep up with with miss rogue all right ladies and gentlemen check out what i did here so i, I put a mighty on on scarlet witch um it, it's got some decent stats so 26 all attack and then 17.7 chain hit um i think that's pretty good especially for a mighty with how terrible these things are to roll guys like devs if you're listening please please I'm, i beg of you do something about this i spent over 300,000 tokens in the dimension shop and all of the stuff that i farmed every day rolling these two and this is the best that i got like so decent or, or bad stats with the 30 percent type and then decent stats with 20 percent type I, i'm not sure what the difference is we'll have to do testing see what difference between 20 30 and 40 because this is half of potentially what you could have right because it goes up to 40. all right so let, let's go in let's go back to null and we're going to do the same stage and we're going to see exactly how much faster this girl can go. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is with the Forge Judgment. It seems to, like, do, you know, it's doing more damage, but it's, it doesn't, like, it's not that much faster. I know it doesn't sound, like, completely right. It's just, you know, with, with all his mechanics and whatnot, like, all his defensive stuff... You know, just getting bamboozled left and right. And... Can't get away from getting trapped up. I almost want to use no strikers. Okay, yeah. I feel like maybe I should have ran around a little bit. Like, this thing, it's not going off all that. Like, okay. So the third skill. Using the third skill seems to be a thing you can do, right? Obviously, you know, you want to use it. But you want to move around while you're... While you're using it. Yeah, to charge up the bar. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go into here we go. We get a proc that would be lovely. It would just be Dr. Loveless. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so three three fifty. Three fifty. 350. Um, honestly, I feel like she can go a little bit faster, but I'm, I'm not going to run that again. Um, I, I want to say that the Judgment and especially the Rage run seemed to be just like a really good run. I think uh, avoided one of his one of his Clintar Cage deals, but this one wasn't like it wasn't as good of a run as the others. Obviously, the time is faster, but I feel like the potential is is a bit more than than where where it's at. So it's like what you know. 17 17 seconds faster than the rage and then you know the the judgment was you know the regular judgment was 335 so 15 seconds faster with the four judgment i mean i guess that seems about right all right now now actually let me show you what is going on with with rogue here so rogue has let's see uh four eight 12 16 so she has 16 odin's blessings she has a stage 12 and then she has a mighty judgment 25 all attack and the 19.1 chain hit with the same type ampl amplification and hers is what's hers 26 and 17.7 so i don't know i feel like they're they're pretty much on par they're they're very very similar 
And then, you know, I showed you this earlier, but she has 12. So Rogue has four more Odin's Blessings. But honestly, I don't think it's making that much of a difference. You know, uh, stage 12, they both have Mythic Uniforms. So I, I feel like their builds are pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same. So, all right, here we go. Rocking this with Rogue now. Rocking this with Rogue. And so it's not a complete, you know, level playing ground because Scarlet Witch was using her own lead which is buffing her by 45%. Rogue's using her own lead, which is just, it's just defense. I'm gonna get, nope, okay, we, we, we died. Ain't good. Thought for a second that maybe wouldn't have. Okay, what's going on? Got it, got it. Bust it up. Just clean it. So if you're in a, ever in a situation right under tier three, like you trigger that that Clintar cage phase, um, just spam her three five four, and then this way on the very next rotation you have you got her tier three up again, right? I mean, she is definitely much faster than Scarlet Witch. She's so much stronger than her for World Boss, man. It's a shame you can't use her for um, for ABX. It really is, because Luna ain't doing anything for you otherwise. She's not doing anything for me anyways. Okay, so she clocked in at, what, 350 Scarlet Witch? And Rogue, so I this is the second time I ran with Rogue. And she clocked in at about the same time. So she, right off the, right off the bat, is... Right, yeah, it was 350. I'm pretty. I'll, have to, I'll I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it was 350. So she's 10 seconds faster for for null, without a lead, with using her own lead, which is a defensive lead. Rogue is much stronger, much stronger. Let's let you know. We'll we'll try and we'll try and uh, Mephisto as well. We'll see if I don't know. Maybe Scarlet Witch shines there for some reason, but let's find out. All righty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is stage 30 for Mephisto. Right, bringing in our girl Scarlet Witch, and this is the team that I use, just except with Rogue. I use Rogue with her, with her own lead there, and we're gonna try this with her, and we'll we'll see how long this is actually taking her. Yeah, we'll... All right, I, I feel like we just we got to do that again. I don't understand. Like, where where's the proc? He's supposed to be better on a judgment. Am I right? Okay, awesome. Are you seeing this? Like I feel like as soon as as soon as the hits start coming, like the proc should should activate. The proc, man, it, it packed his bags and it just took a took a lap. There's the type, there's the proc. Okay, very nice. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Okay, and then I'm going to try to get this type as well as my fit skill into the, uh, in, into the proc. A lot of damage on the fit. She is slow, though. I have to say, she is a slow poke. One thing, another thing I want to note is on uh, Vision, you know, he's got the decreased debuff by 30%. And it actually helps a lot for Mephisto, just like especially in that last phase when you're, you know, you're fighting the, the giant size, um, the giant size Surter, or Surter, Jesus, Mephisto, rather. We need that heal on the third. Okay, we broke him down. We broke him down, but we're almost dead. This is not looking good for us. We definitely need to get this third skill. There we go, get a, a slight heal. Um, so it was about 355. You know, may, maybe we'll just do that, guys. We'll just do the first, um, you know, how long it takes to actually just break them down through that phase there. Hey, let's, let's run rogue here. Both of them kind of getting bamboozled with these procs here. And 
typically you want there you go so if you're playing or you'd want that that type amplification or to activate like right at like that was a perfect timing like right when i hit her tier three but it tip it, it like it never works out that way it never works out that way yeah, i think i want to save her tier three here okay so i already broke them down I already broke them down 422 so she is much faster for Mephisto, and I guess that's to be expected because she's speed, right? So she, she has a little bit of advantage, but, you know, I wanted to do this to show you, you know, where both of their strengths were. In Rogue, her survivability is just, it, it's fantastic. It, it is, she is so good to play for Mephisto, and, you know, I mean, I've said this so many times about just the where the battle lies, right? The battle lies in, in staying alive. Um, Scarlet Witch, I mean, I, I don't know, from, from just taking her in there, like, I actually haven't ran any runs, like, full runs with her and Mephisto, but it doesn't seem like her survivability is as good as Rogue's. But where does her value lie? Scarlet Witch's value, it lies in ABX. ABX, I don't know, is she going to be, like, a solely an ABX character? I don't know, she seems pretty good for Danger Room. Um, I've seen people scoring high with her in squad battle, but that's free, you know, it's a no restriction. So there are many options there. And I don't think she's outscoring um, Cable, for one. Cable, I don't know, is she outscoring Moon and Snow? Odin? No. I know Noel can score pretty high. Uh, but so, yeah, I mean, you know, I want to show you guys what you're getting, like, if, if you have a judgment. So it seems like for, for like, it, between judgment and rage, they're pretty much they're pretty much on par. You could expect a little bit more from a judgment, according to my testing here. I mean, you guys saw it. Um, and from a four judgment, you could definitely you know expect expect even more than that. Um, honestly, I feel like the potential for the four judgment is a little bit greater because I feel like the run wasn't all that great. And you know, I don't want to sit here running it for days. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop all these all these boxes here. You know, we like to pop these things. I got a balance. A balance, okay. It's not 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 the best. Some might even say it's the worst. A million gold from from uh squad battle. Not too shabby. Robot dude those crystals, man. Or the the shards, the Mcron shards. They're they're terrible. Absolutely terrible. So there it is, guys. There it is. Um I mean we, we got the results there right like i mentioned rage a little bit slower than a judgment which is a little bit slower than uh four judgment four judgment is is like 10 seconds faster for world boss legend we'll have to figure out what what we're getting for abx though once that day comes like actually when is that day we'll figure out when that day is and so you no know, so right here in two days in two days we can go ahead what, what i can even do is Unequip the four judgment, throw a regular on her, and then and then throw a rage on her, or something to that effect, or, or you know, in in one of those orders, and we'll see exactly how much better she is, um, and if she can in fact outscore Captain Marvel, I I, am, I have no doubts that she's going to be able to. I have absolutely no doubts, but we'll, we'll have to see exactly what the increase is. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you for thank you for tuning in today. So you you better stay breezy. You stay tuned, though. Stay tuned. But most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.